Hello everyone, this is Vinita and welcome to Hopeful Turns. In this video, I'll be sharing with you the tutorial of this crochet clutch bag. So as you can see, it is made with a crochet granny triangle. It's a pretty simple, easy and straightforward pattern and you can customize it in many ways. So you can use this as a clutch bag like this or you can even turn this into a sling bag. So you can just add a couple of rows, make it into a little bit bigger, into like a square thing, add cords to it, maybe with the yarn or you can even use purse chain, the metal purse chain that you get and attach it and you can use this as a sling bag. Or else what you can do is instead of making it this big, you can make it a little bit smaller and make it like a small pouch also. So there are many ways of customizing this. So you will be uh, starting with the granny triangle. So the width of the granny triangle will be your width of the bag or the pouch that you're going to make. So if you uh, if you count here, one, two, three, four, five, six, uh, I have made six rows of granny triangle. If you make it with three you'll end up with a small pouch if you want much wider bag than this one you can just go on adding a few more rows of granny triangle so first we'll make the granny triangle and then we will move on to the body of it so yeah you can customize it in a couple of ways so let's see the supplies that you'd require now for this you can use any yarn just go with the recommended hook size i have used worsted weight yarn a medium four weight yarn and with that i have used the recommended hook size which is a 5 mm crochet hook all right i think cotton will work pretty well or the purse thread that you have that also will really work very well with this pattern you'll also need a pair of scissors a darning needle to weave in the ends apart from that you would require a button a, a bigger button would be requ required because uh, we are using one of the holes of the granny triangle as a you can see this this will be the buttonhole so you might need a bigger size button for this and a, a thread and needle to stitch in the button okay so these are the few requirements now if you're looking for other pouches or bag patterns i do have a few on my channel you can find all the links in the description box now let's just start with the tutorial so we'll start this pattern by making a slip knot first so make a slip knot so you can make the slip knot the way you like okay so once you have your slip knot we will start by making five chain stitch all right so we are going to make five chain stitch chain five one two three four and five so here i have got my five chain stitch and i'll go into the very first stitch and make a slip stitch so into your very first stitch you can go there and make a slip stitch and this will create a small circle we are going to work in the center of the circle now instead of using chain 5 and slip stitching you can even start this with a magic circle but i just started with this chain 5 method all right once you have this we'll start with our first round so for the first round you'll start with four chain stitch so chain four one two three and four now the four chain stitch here is equivalent to a double crochet plus chain one so that is what your chain four means all right once you have that we are going to make three double crochet into the center of the circle okay so we'll make three double crochet into the center of the circle so this is one i'll make two more double crochets so this is my second double crochet i'll make one more so here I've got a total of three double crochet. Now this three double crochet is equivalent to one cluster. So whenever I mention a cluster, it just means that a set of three double crochet. So once you have this cluster, make three chain stitch. So chain three, one, two, three, and then go back into the circle and again make a cluster. So I'll go back and make three more double crochet. So this is one, another one, two, and one more. So that completes the next cluster. That is here I have a total of three double crochet. Okay. So this cluster is done. I'll make one chain stitch. So chain one 
and then go back into the center of the circle and place just one double crochet so here i have completed a cluster i have chain one i'll go into the center of the circle and make just one double crochet this time okay so this completes our row one or your round one okay so this is like a small triangle here at this point if you want you can just pull on this end so that it will uh, close the gap a little bit all right so this is the end of round one we will start the next round so every round from here onwards we will start by making four chain stitches so every time you start a round or a row you have to start with four chain stitches so chain four one two three and four all right so here i have got my four chain stitch i'll just turn my work now i have this chain one space here and into this chain one space i'm going to make a cluster that is i'm going to put three double crochet so into the first chain one space make three double crochet so this is one two i'll make another one three so that will complete a cluster here all right once this is done you make chain one so chain one and here this actually is the corner so for the triangle this is the one corner so every time you reach this center corner you have to put three double crochet chain three and three double crochet okay so here is a cluster i have put chain one i have reached the corner here so i'm going to put three double crochet so this is one two and one more three so here i've got three double crochet okay so this is one cluster i'm going to put three chain stitch here one two three and into the same stitch i'm going to make three more double crochet so into the same stitch make three more double crochet or make a cluster so this is one two and one more three so this is the pattern that you have to repeat every time you reach the corner so every time you reach a corner make three double crochet chain three and three double crochet once this is done make one chain stitch so chain one now you have reached the next chain one gap here again make three double crochet so into this chain one gap we are putting three double crochet one two and i'll make one more three so this completes this cluster and to finish off this round you have to make chain one so this is how you finish off every round from here onwards your once you make your very last cluster you have to make one chain stitch and then finish it off by making only one double crochet so this here was the chain four of the previous round so every time we started a round we had started with a uh, four chain stitch in that three double crochet three chain stitch was a double crochet height plus a chain one okay so what we'll do is you just have to uh, push it a little bit and into your third chain stitch of your chain four so one two three this here is the third chain stitch go there and make your double crochet so into the third chain of your chain four you have to make a double crochet so that will create every row and there is extra one chain stitch that is where we have placed this cluster okay so this finishes our next round all right now we'll move on to the third round so this round again will be started with four chain stitch so make four chain stitch one two three and four and this four chain stitch is nothing but a double crochet plus chain one so every round you have to start with four chain stitch and then turn your work now from here the pattern is wherever you have a chain one space you have to make a cluster so you can see that here is one chain one space here here you will make a cluster here you have another chain one space here again you have to make a cluster and this space here is the corner okay so when you reach the corner you have to put a cluster chain three and a cluster that is three double crochet chain three and uh, three double crochet so that is what will go in this uh, chain three space or at this corner now here is your next chain one space here you make a cluster and there is one more uh, chain one space here 
there again you have to make a cluster okay so that is what we are going to do so we have started with chain 4 into your first uh, chain 1 space make a cluster so I'm going to put 3 double crochet 1 2 and 3 okay Now once this cluster is done, this is your next chain 1 space and here again we are going to make a cluster. But before moving from one cluster to another, you have to put one chain. So chain 1 and then make your next cluster in the chain 1 space. So here is the next cluster. 1, 2 and 3. Alright. Now there are no more chain 1 spaces. It is a corner here. So in a corner you have to make three double crochet chain three and three double crochet so moving from one cluster to another cluster you have to again put chain one all right and then make the corner stitch of three double crochet chain three and three double crochet so one two and three okay so here i've got my first cluster this is a corner space so you have to make three chain stitch only in the corner space you are putting three chain spaces okay so here i've got three double crochet chain three and three double crochet so that will complete your corner here all right so this is done now you have to make the next cluster in this chain one space but before moving ahead make chain one and then make your next cluster so this is one this is two and one more three okay this is done chain one and you have one more chain one space left so into this chain one space again make a cluster so before i moved into making this cluster i had put a chain one so don't forget your chain one all right so this completes my next cluster so here i was i had a cluster chain one and a cluster now to finish off this you have to make chain one and then finish it off by a double crochet and the double crochet will be made on top of the third chain of your chain four so this might be a little bit tricky to find that space okay so into your third chain make your last double crochet like this so this completes this round you can see that the starting is chain four which is nothing but double crochet chain one the ending is also chain one and a double crochet so this completes this round like this you have to go on repeating till you have a total of seven rounds so every round you start with four chain stitch one two three four okay whenever you reach a chain one space make a cluster so here is a cluster here will be a cluster here will be a cluster and when you move from one cluster to another cluster make chain one when you reach your corner make three double crochet chain three three double crochet then make chain one and come to the next chain one space make a cluster here make a cluster here but when you move from one to another don't forget the chain one and there is one more chain one space here here also you make a cluster and to finish it off you make chain one and then put a double crochet into the third chain of your chain four okay so here i'm at the end of my fourth row so i thought i'll just show you how this looks and how many clusters we should be having so that there is no more confusion so at the end of my row four if you see i had started with four chain stitch i had made three clusters so one two three so i have made three cluster on this side so after making a cluster i had put chain one cluster chain one cluster chain one and when i reach the corner here so this was a cluster after that i had put a chain one and when i reach the corner i have put a cluster chain three cluster that is three double crochet chain three cluster then i made a chain one and then followed it by three clusters so one two three so i have three cluster this side three cluster on this side and then i have a corner stitch with three double crochet chain three three double crochet okay and when you move from one cluster to another don't forget your chain one so after finishing this corner i had put chain one then a cluster again chain one cluster chain one cluster 
and once you finish your last cluster you have to put chain one and then make your last double crochet okay so at the end of your uh, row four you have a total of three clusters on one side so one two three then a corner stitch and three cluster on this side once you finish your next row you will have four clusters on one side so this is three cluster next row you will have four cluster on this side four clusters on this side plus you will have your corner stitch of double crochet chain three double crochet so like that as you go on repeating the rows you will be adding one cluster extra on either side so that is how the pattern will be forming so i will show you after i finish my seven uh, rows so here I'm at the end of my row 6 and I've just decided to stop it here. My original plan was to go up till row 7 but if I did till row 7 I thought it would be a little bit too wide. So if you, if you see here this will be the width of your back and I find that row 6 works perfect for me so I'm going to stop here. But if you want a much wider or bigger bag you can just go ahead till row 7, 8 whatever is the width that you're looking for. So this width will be the total width of your clutch so i'm just stopping at row seven so row six sorry so if you see this is one two three four five six so i have made six rows of this triangle here and at the end of my row six i have one two three four five five clusters this side five clusters this side and the corner stitch okay so this is how the pattern is after row six now we'll start working on the body so if you see here this top edge is not a very clean and straight line so we'll first of all straighten this up so this was my last row here and this was the last double crochet okay now we'll straighten this up i'm going to chain one first and i'm going to make a normal single crochet row so the first single crochet will go on top of the stitch that is joint here and make one single crochet there one single crochet will go in this space so if you see there is this kind of space here i'll put two single crochet in these spaces so i'll put two single crochet one here one here so two single crochet will go in those spaces and one single crochet will go on the point where your double crochet is joining so if you see there this is your cluster stitch and there is a small space at the join there i'll go and make a single crochet just one single crochet so two single crochets will go in this space and one single crochet will go on top of this stitch two single crochet one single crochet two single crochet one single crochet so that's how i'm going to do it so i'll show you so this here is a sm space here I'm going to make two single crochet one and two and then one single crochet will go on top of this stitch so if you pull it out you can find a small space there I'll go there and make a single crochet just one again I'll put two single crochet in the space provided by the chain four or the double crochet and then one space I will put on top of this stitch so that you can even it out you just have to place a normal single crochet stitch so as to have a clean edge two single crochet one two and one single crochet here so like this just go on repeating it till you reach the other end so here I have finished making one full row of single crochet and now we'll move on to the next row. So from here onwards it is just a one row repeat stitch. So what we'll do is we will start every row by making one chain stitch. So chain one and then turn your work. We're just going to make single crochet from here onwards but we'll be making single crochet only in the back loops. So if you see you have a front loop you have a back loop. So go into your back loops only and make a single crochet so into your back loop make a single crochet come to your next stitch and then place a single crochet so just make rows and rows of single crochet all worked in the back loops so this here is my back loop i'll make a single crochet i'll go to the next stitch and again place a single crochet 
so continue this till you reach the end of this row and we'll start the next row with you and then you can continue you just are going to make back loops single crochet for the rest of your rows so here I have completed one full row of single crochet and all of the single crochet has been worked in the back loops now this is the pattern that we'll be following for the next few rows so every time you start a row you have to chain one and then you have to turn your work you can skip the chain one that you have made it is just the turning chain just ignore that come to the very first stitch and make a single crochet but that single crochet should be worked in the back loops only so go into the first stitch and make a single crochet in the back loop go to the next stitch into the back loop only and then make a single crochet like this in every stitch you have to make a normal single crochet but just take care that it is made in the back loops so continue to repeat this pattern for a few more rows i'll tell you exactly how many rows i have made it just depends on how big you want your clutch to be so i'll continue the same pattern for a few more rows and i'll meet you once i have the required length so just make one single crochet row all worked in the back loop when you reach the very last stitch make a single crochet there chain one turn your work and then continue making single crochet rows worked in back loops so i'll make, meet you once i finish this pattern so here i have worked 39 rows of single crochet all worked in the back loop and this is the length that i'm getting so you can fold this up and check whether you are happy with the length so this will be my length of the pouch now the number of rows totally depends on the length that you're looking for if you want it to make it like a sling bag you can add a few more rows and make it a little bit bigger so that it becomes a square and looks nice as a sling bag but that uh, number of rows is totally up to you so you can stop wherever you are comfortable just fold it and check whether the length is enough for you okay once you are done with that we will move on to the next part so all you have to do is to stitch both the sides and then if you want you can add a pico border so i'm going to add a pico border first and then i'll stitch up the two sides so this was my very last single crochet what i'll do is i'll go ahead and join with the flap okay so i'm going to join with the help of a slip stitch okay so this is the point where i'm going to slip stitch i'm going to chain one and then turn my work next what i'm going to do is i'm going to single crochet into this stitch where it is joining where the granny border was joining and i'll make one single crochet into the chain one space as well here now we'll start with our pico stitch so for the pico stitch i'll be working the pico stitch in the first and the uh, third double crochets i'll be skipping the middle double crochet as well as the chain one space so into the first double crochet i'll go first of all and then single crochet and then make three chain stitch so this is how you do your pico stitch you make single crochet make three chain stitch one two three then go back into the single crochet and then make a single crochet there so skip the three chain stitches go into the single crochet you have to take the two loops you have a small kind v here so just insert your hook through both the loops here and then make a single crochet like this so this will create a pico stitch then into the next double crochet that is the middle double crochet you go and make a single crochet like this next into the third one so first one we have done a pico stitch second we have done a single crochet into the third stitch you again make a pico stitch so to make a pico stitch you have to make single crochet first then you make three chain stitch one two three go back again into the single crochet and make one more single crochet so catch hold of the two loops here is one here is the second one insert your hook and make a single crochet there so that will complete your pico stitch once this is done next you have your chain one space so go there and make a normal single crochet so you're alternating between pico stitch single crochet pico stitch so single crochet is done 
now what you have to do you have to make a pico stitch on the first double crochet you have to make a single crochet into the second one and a pico stitch into the third one and here again a single crochet so uh, just alternate between single crochets and pico stitch so into my first uh, double crochet i'm going to start a pico stitch so for that i'm going to make a single crochet three chain stitch and going back into the same stitch and finish it off with a single crochet so this will create your pico stitch once a pico stitch is made go to the next stitch make a single crochet come to the next single uh, double crochet and make a pico stitch so single crochet chain three go back and make a single crochet once this pico stitch is made again make a single crochet and then continue the pattern so all you have to do is you have to make pico stitch single crochet pico stitch so complete this and i'll meet you at the end of this row so here i have finished making the pico stitch border so i've just made pico stitch and single crochet and in the very center stitch or the chain three space i had put single crochet pico stitch and single crochet all the three will go in the chain three space the rest is the same in every first double crochet you have to make a piece pico stitch second stitch you have to make a single crochet in the third double crochet again a pico stitch and the chain one space a single crochet so like this i have completed one full row so the border is done now all we have to do is we have to attach the two sides now you can attach the two sides by any method you can use a darning needle to attach the side or you can use slip stitch or single crochet to attach the sides i'm going to attach this with the help of a single crochet so this is my right side here so where the flap is going to go i'll go there and i'm going to attach from the bottom side so that the single crochet shows up so i've taken the yarn i've just slip stitched it and I've made a sorry slip knot now I'm going to slip stitch this to the very bottom so I've made a slip knot I'm going to the very bottom of this part and going to first of all slip stitch so as to join this so I'm going to first of all slip stitch right here okay once I've done that I'm going to chain one and then I'm going to evenly place my single crochet on this row so you can you can see that there are two rows so in each of the rows you can place one one single crochet so into the very first stitch i'll go taking the layer behind and make a single crochet like this come to the very next row so i'm going to insert my hook there and then catch hold of the other layer also and make a single crochet so like this i'm going to just evenly place my single crochets on this side and I'm going to join the two ends similarly you can do for the other side also so you can join the other two side other side also with the help of a single crochet so I'll just continue till I reach the other end I'm just going to make a normal single crochet stitch and when I when you see this you can see the single crochet up so that is why I've started from this end if i had started from this end the single crochet will be on the back side it will not show very clearly so that's why i'm starting from this end and i'm doing a single crochet similarly when i come to this end i'll start from the front uh, i'll start from the top and then do a single crochet okay so i'll just finish this off and i'll meet you at the end of this so here i have worked single crochet row on both the sides and i have also attached a button here I'll be using the very last corner stitch of my granny triangle for the buttonhole so that's why I have placed it here so just uh, fold it down and check where that very last corner stitch is coming there you can just attach your button with a normal uh, thread and needle okay so yeah that's all for the tutorial on how to do this clutch bag now if you want you can add cords to it so you can use uh, the same yarn to make a cord i do have one tutorial on my channel how to make a very simple cord if you want you can check that up i'll leave the link in the description box or else what you can do is you get this metal purse chain you can even attach that to the very corners and use it like a sling bag okay so that's all for the tutorial here i really hope you liked it and you enjoyed making this now if you liked it please do not forget to press on the like button and if you're new to my channel please do consider subscribing 
if you're looking for other purse or pouches kind of tutorial uh, you can find all the links in the description box so see you in the next video until then bye bye thank you for watching